Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about another optimization technique, Z order. Okay, and we will also talk about like why it comes into the uh, why it is basically required. Okay, so if you remember my previous videos, right, we talked about data skipping, how does it work, and what optimize command does, right? So we'll just Take a step back and we'll talk about those things to get more clarity on why is the order coming to the picture. Okay. So if you remember in the Z in the in the skipping part, right? The data skipping part, right? And I'll highly recommend you to go and check my previous videos if you don't know. So in the data skipping, we said right uh, the delta engine will go and check the logs, right? And it will try to filter out the data which is really required to query the data or whatever is required only those files will be queried by the delta table correct but since we are working in a in a big data world right and data is keep on increasing day by day day by day right so the logs are also getting increased right that's what we talked about in the last video which was related to the data compaction or the file compaction right and the solution for this was to uh, compact so many files right in just a single or a bigger file right now this bigger file comes into the picture which will have the data from multiple files correct so obviously the logs right when the logs will be created right the ranges in the logs will be high now when I talk about the ranges I am uh, I'll talk about the minimum and maximum values right which we we discussed in the data skipping video okay i'll drop that data skipping video or delta table video right on the i button you can go and check it if you don't know but if you remember in the logs file it will have the stats of each and every column which is present in your files right so the stats will be stored for the bigger file as well but these stats the range of the stats will be uh, much higher is this time right because it is holding the data of more than 10 files or 100 files right while compact while doing the compaction right it is holding the data for more than 100 files sometimes right so the ranges are high now if the delta table if the delta engine go and search those records which you really needed in your query right it has to go through all those records to find out the value right so what we generally does right what comes into our mind is to partition the data right based on let's say location or something right us or maybe latin america or something right like this we can we can do partition that is okay that is okay right but within the partition also the size of the data will be huge right sometime and what if i wanted to simplify the search or to optimize my search within these uh, partitions right that's where the z order come into the picture now what it does right what it does is it basically stores the similar type of data okay the similar type of data together okay it will organize the similar type of data at one place okay so in simple words it will co-locate okay the similar type of data sets type of data sets now how it does what is the syntax we will go through it don't worry about it okay just try to understand the concept first why it used where it used how it comes into the picture why we are using it right that is very important because in the interviewer they will ask you right why you used it why you can't use just partition what is the difference between them right that's where you will be confused if you don't know the if you don't know the real concept right why we are using it you will be confused for sure okay so let's suppose you are partitioning the data based on some um, let's say based on some regions right us or maybe eu right or something right you can skip the folders right in the partition let let's suppose you wanted to search the data just for the us but within us also you will have so much of data and 
when you will do file compaction this data will be stored in a single file now it is tough to scan this entire file of 1 GB right I mean like it's not tough but again it will take some time right and what if we have so many files just like this right because we are dealing with the terabytes or petabytes of data in, in today's world so the file size or the number of files will be huge now what Z order does right it will reorganize the data within existing partition that's where I'm saying it is co-locating the data similar type of data within the existing partition okay it won't create any physical partition it will just co-locate the data okay okay I mean like you can say uh, it won't create phys uh, subfolders like partition but it will reorganize the data within partition okay and uh, what what I mean like when it reorders it tries to co-locate the similar type of data sets together okay so let's suppose I'm saying US and inside US I'm saying within some specific range latitude and longitude right I'm putting those two columns in my Z order okay and I'm co-locating those data sets together okay so what spark will does it will co-locate similar type of data sets based on the uh, based on this zones right areas together so that later on while trying to query the data it will skip the irrelevant data and it will just scan the ones which are required okay so this is how Z order helps in data compaction or you can say to optimize your delta table I hope you, you got it right the another difference between you can say between partition and the Z order right uh, I, I hope you know the concept of uh, what we call it uh, I completely forgot that name it's not coming into okay high uh, cardinality right the column cardinality so we have two type of uh, columns in the data sets right or in the delta table right column cardinality so a column can be of high cardinality or can be of low cardinality okay so high cardinality means you will have so many unique values right the column cardinality refers to the number of unique column unique values right so if the number of uh, unique values in a column is more then we call it high cardinality if the number of unique values okay more then we call high cardinality if the unique values are less unique values are less then we call it low cardinality so generally partitions works or we do partitions on the low cardinality column but z ordering can be done on high cardinality of columns okay so the, the this is the difference between the z order and the partition and now you must be uh, must be uh, getting some idea right why i have covered the data skipping the delta table file formats the logs the file compaction at the first place and why i'm talking about z order now because now it's making sense right if i directly go and talk about z order it doesn't make sense but why z order is coming to the picture because of these all reasons okay so this is the use okay now how to use it that is quite simple just like partition you have a function called uh, optimize right optimize by you can say or sorry z order by and you can use this function and and perform the z ordering basically so let's let's go to the databricks notebook and see how it we can do it okay so now we are in the notebook page and uh, this is the old code which we have written for optimize command right and yeah from here we will talk about z ordering okay now so in the first command if you see i am listing down the files which i have in my uh, dbfs location okay and i have five files out of these five files i am reading the reading this file basically the customer dot 
one lakh csv files okay one lakh csv means like it has one lakh csv rec uh, records basically and it's a csv file so i have the data frame with me right now what i will do i will write this data frame into this particular location okay so i'll simply use generate ai again write data frame in delta format at at this path and i'll change the path here i'll say uh, see z order test it's done accept now i am writing this data into the form of in a delta table format okay and i'm not creating any partitions but let's do create the partitions as well uh okay yeah partition by in bracket i will say let me check any column country okay i'll use the country so okay yeah let's use mode append that's okay let's run it so what it okay invalid character okay so in this uh if you see right these columns have some spaces right so i have to fix it i have the function with me one minute let me run that function i completely missed that okay and then i'll just run that function to get the data frame and then i'll run it it will work this time it will take some time so i'll pause the video for a second okay before that i will show you like in this data skipping folder right if i show you catalog dbfs in the data skipping folder right we have partition by country and then z order test just now we created and you see so many folders are getting created these are called partitions right because we just partition the data and inside each partition we have multiple part files see 7777 right now once i have the partitions ready with me right i have used partitions right it's a low cardinality column because countries will be limited right we will not have so many countries now what i will do on this table right on this delta table first of all i'll read this delta table okay i'll not use ai let's skip it let's write it yours ourself delta table for z order okay delta table dot for path spark and then this path where we have this file now what we are doing we are basically creating a delta table object then something is missing here why let's try to run it okay it's done and now i have this uh, delta table let's check the history of this delta table okay you will see only one entry since we just now created this one so you see just now we have done only one operation write operation where we have created so many files how many files 1944 folders or something files basically you can say okay now the delta table is ready now i wanted to perform z order on top of it okay so how to perform z order in the in the python format z order dot optimize i can use again optimize okay and then in the last video i have shown you execute compaction right in by which you can compact the files now the next function is execute z order by and now i can give the column names on which i wanted to perform this okay so let's say i wanted to perform and i'll show you one of the folder let's take an example of any of the folder let's say algeria 
okay we have seven partitions okay now each partition will have same num same same amount of columns right so i'll use let's say first name or customer id okay because it's a high cardinality column let's use high cardinality column then so i'm using this one with high cardinality i'm not saying order by this and that i'm just using this on this column i wanted to perform z ordering that's it okay i'll run it uh, got an expected given columns why okay let's try to do this it should work but yeah let's try to run it now <clears throat> so it's gonna take some time because you see it's going to perform optimizing all these files right now it is done now let's check the history one more time see now another operation has been done okay this operation is again optimized operation where we have performed z ordering and if you see here so many files got removed for the spark right obviously for that and in physical uh, file right if i go to algeria right it will just simply create one file here okay and that file will have the data for all these files right just like the way we have in optimize right and inside this file the data will be again order by z order by this column so again we are uh, just organizing the values inside that file right so we are co-locating the data inside that file using z order so this is the difference between z order optimize and partitions and I hope you got idea of cardinality as well. So that's it for this video. Let me know your questions. If you have still have some doubts, just write it in the comment box and I'll try to answer those. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.